They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into How's it going traders? Your boy TJ is back with another video. I am dropping the Forex top tips every beginner or non-successful trader needs to hear out. We're going through basic stuff, but also talking about my journey and how you can take action to enhance your trading performance. If that's win rate higher, odds are better, self-discipline, controlling your emotions, having good psychology, so much to talk about. If you are new around here, like and subscribe to my content. I upload one video every two days on the main channel. I have a TJFX Reacts channel. I upload one every two days, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, both channels, and also two shorts on the main channel. Make sure you subscribe. Let's get into it, baby. I am a fundy trader with over $400,000 capital. I trade 0.5 to 1% risk per each trade I put down, only entering around two to five trades a month. There are ups and down days. My day today, I woke up, 7 a.m. I've already left the house on my way to the gym. It's not even 9 a.m. I've just started making a main channel video. I'm going to the gym in a bit for my second session. And all I'm trying to say is that I went to bed early last night as well. I've been doing this for a very long time. It's called discipline. That's all it is. Discipline is all you need. There are going to be days where you wake up and you don't want to do it. Today, it was raining outside. The weather is terrible. It's cold in the UK. Just because of those negative things that are happening in my own head. Weather shit. It's cold. It's dark. I don't want to go out. Those are all the things that I used to think when I didn't want to do something. Now, I don't have any altercations. I just do it. There's no negotiating with myself. Every single day is the same day. Yes, being self-employed, you've got to be 100% disciplined. But being a trader, discipline is in your life then it's on the chart. If you are over trading for a long period of time, you're never going to be successful. If you are FOMOing into trades, you will never be successful. You must learn from mistakes. If you are not disciplined enough to take action on the mistakes made and have progression with your progress as a trader, then you will never be a full-time fully funded trader. You can get a funded account for sure. I have got members who followed me for a few years make profit right here will he's 19 years of age 19 i will make another video on it 4.7k withdraw he's not the only one will has been with me for about 8 to 12 months training forex he's lost money he will tell you when we make a video he's lost money he's probably in profit now though because he learned from his mistakes on a live account went to a prop firm might have failed one challenge but then he got funded or had a funded account lost it learned from that and then got another funded account and made a withdrawal that isn't luck that is discipline and he has learned from his mistakes for his progression. There's going to be so many people just not doing the right things and I understand it can be difficult, 100%. It's a progress. It's going to take time. Psychology is a massive aspect in Forex trading. It's all to do with your mindset and how you view the market. Also, when you're in the trade, let's say your trade goes into small profit. Holding that trade out to your take profit. So many traders struggle a whole trade. They close for partials, small profit. Why are you entering into the market if you don't think your take profit's going to hit? And that's the biggest worrying factor. Your psychology will never improve if you can't trust yourself. It is you versus the market. We are, as traders, against the odds. But the psychology helps us. If that's moving SL to entry, moving SL, to secure a percent, holding out a 10 to one trade instead of closing it for two to one. It does go back to being disciplined, but having the same raiding strategy slash plan, only gonna trade once a month, twice a month, three times a month. You could win one out of two, but walk home with 2%, 3% profit. You could win all three. If you only entered three that month, you can't lose any more than 3% as an example. If you entered 10, you could lose all 10. So it's all to do with holding your trades out and trusting yourself, having belief in the style that you trade. You're not in the market. You're not entering a trade if you don't believe in yourself. Trust yourself. You are on this journey with yourself. Believe in yourself and you will succeed. Emotions can play a big factor in your trading, especially when you're actually in the trade. You can start self-doubting and then start making bad decisions. The way to prevent emotions happening is to be detached from the loss and detached from the win. It doesn't matter win or lose, you inside, nothing changes. You go again, it's another trade. We go again, which is why risk to reward 
has a big factor into trading and also win rate does too. Making sure the risk management is key, but the emotion side, it's one of the biggest, biggest downfalls of most traders. They FOMO, which means fear of missing out. They keep entering into the market, taking multiple losses on the same entry they were supposed to get, losing and then end up failing their prop firm account or over leveraging, over margin and get margin called out on. This probably happens to over 95% of traders. Emotions is one of the biggest things you have to learn to get de detached from, detached from trading. It can affect your day-to-day -day life. If you let trade get into your head and you go home to your missus, parents, or even seeing a friend, and your mood has been affected by your trade, win or lose, you are an emotional person and you're gonna keep making emotional decisions. You can't look at stuff one way. That is the problem with most traders. All I would suggest to give yourself a better chance and learning to self-develop your emotions and learning to develop and control your emotions. A good way is to not look at the charts. Stop looking at the charts all the time. When you're in a trade, let it be. Have hour updates, not every five minutes. On over trade, which means starting a trading journal. When you have a trading journal, two trades a week only, risking 1% only, only two trades max, that's it. After you set these small trading band tips into your actual trading and take action, that's it. It doesn't even matter if you're making a trading plan. If you can't take action, then just sort your life out. Honestly, you gotta sort yourself out. You have to, at some point, look at yourself and go, is this right for me? I don't want you to just go to yourself, it isn't, because it's right for everyone. Trading is right for everyone. You just need the mentality to get there. It takes time, progression. You got to be in it. I'm always looking on the charts. I'm making content. I'm staying in the trading industry. I'm not leaving. And that is how you guys got to look at it. At the start, you have to look at the charts. It doesn't mean you're going to trade, you know, see how many wins you get up in a month. You have to start logging your journey and understanding it is gonna take some time but controlling the psychology the emotions helping yourself by moving sl to entry only entering one percent two trades a week doing small things like this help you become a better trader i hope you have enjoyed this video i really enjoyed making some top tips for all of the beginners out there in forex or traders who have been training for a long time but struggling to be successful it will take time but the reality is if you put in the hard work dedication and you get self-discipline, you will be a full-time trader in a short space of time. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy. Peace.